Hey everyone, welcome back to Fireball Tool. I'd like to answer one of the most popular questions I get asked all the time is, which material do I buy, cast iron or aluminum? Well, that's not quite an easy decision, I know. But let's start with cast iron. Cast iron is extremely resilient to weld spatter. That's one of my favorite things about it. Two, cast iron has more carbon content in it, so it holds up to wear better. You can slide it across the table. It doesn't get dinged or dented as easy as steel would. The other cool benefit to cast iron too is that it's extremely stable, which means it resists bending, twisting, it wants to stay in this position at all times. So if it were to fall off the table and hit the floor, most likely when you pick it up, it's gonna remain in this shape. Aluminum is very light for obvious reasons. So I like to use it off the welding table. I like to use it on sawhorses, if I'm building on the floor, or maybe I gotta climb a ladder and I can carry it up with me. It is also extremely resilient to weld spatter. Two, it's a gigantic heat sink. So if you're welding thinner material, you can clamp to it and it pulls the heat out. If you're working with a sheet metal, it's great at that too. And it's forgiving. So if you were to get a ding or dent, you can, it's easily fileable. Now let's talk about rust. Rust is always an issue with cast iron. So it takes a little bit more to maintain it. You might have to keep it oiled or, and hit it with an emery cloth if you uh, live in a high humidity area where the aluminum doesn't really have that uh, disadvantage. It stays like it is. So if you live in a high humidity area, aluminum is a great opportunity. If you're working outside and it happens to get rained on or in a service truck that's bouncing around that you're traveling all over the place, aluminum is great for that too. What is Jason's favorite? Well, I actually don't have a favorite. I enjoy using both of them for their strengths and weaknesses at the same time. So I think they both have a place in the shop. If I was after a square that was light, corrosion resistant and portable, aluminum hands down. If I'm in a situation where I want heavy, durable, and stable, cast iron all the way. Be sure to check out all the specs at fireballtool.com. I'll see you on the next one.